Hey guys, Marcus here. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We are just now getting started. We're testing some new camera angles and everything like that today. Uh, so if you can hear me and see me, let me know. Uh, this is camera angle one, and then camera angle number two is coming across a lot clearer as well. Uh, so here's camera angle two with the blackboard, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, if everything looks good, let me know, and we will get this show on the road. Today, what we're going to be doing is talking about how to find a niche market, how to know if a niche market's good, um, how to dive into the keyword research and everything like that. So if you can hear me okay, and if you can see me okay, and everything looks pretty good, uh, type good or something like that, and we'll test out the blackboard as well, see if we're all set to go on that angle. And it should be a lot clearer. We're using a um, high def camera instead of the uh, webcam. So it should be a whole lot clearer. If it is, if you guys notice the difference, type clear in. I spent a small fortune making this stuff work for you. But uh, nothing but the best for the affiliate marketing dudes and dudettes, right? So if you're there, if you're listening, and you're ready to learn to find niches, type something in the box like, Marcus, hand me a niche, or Marcus, I need a niche, or Marcus, give me a niche, or something like that. And we're going to get this show on the road here. Uh, we also have a new thing that I'm testing out, this beast here, which is a automatic following camera which it did pretty good following the dog around, right? It did pretty good, followed her around the yard pretty good. Uh, so we'll be testing that out as well. Uh, kind of a pain to get to work, uh, but uh, you know, it's pretty cool when it does work. Okay, so let's see how this is working. Looks like uh, Shelly says she needs a niche. Nancy says it's her first time on the live chat. Good to see you here. Jimbo's ready for a niche. Alana's ready, Bill's ready. Nancy Whitetail, uh, let, free domain or something like that, freedom in, something like that, right, if I could read. Uh, Bill's ready. Looks like we got a lot of people here, and a lot of you guys are actually ready to make this work. Now, if you guys, uh, if I was to ask you guys, when it comes to internet marketing, what is the most difficult part, right? I think a lot of you guys might say technical stuff. I think a lot of you guys might say, um, you know, maybe building everything together or getting conversions or whatever, but I find that in my years of teaching internet marketing. A lot of you guys know um, I started internet marketing back in the year 2000 uh, fully. I, I started kind of in like 1999. Um, but in 2000 I started and um, I didn't start teaching internet marketing till 2008. Uh, in 2008 a friend of mine, we used to have teleseminars back then and his teleseminar guest like clonked out on him. He was like, I, I don't know where this guy is. He can't make the seminar. Uh, so he asked me to teach and, you know, I, I hopped on the webinar and I taught everything that I had been doing with affiliate marketing and how I had big millions of dollars in weird niches and stuff like that. And uh, everyone loved it. And at the end of the training, people were like, well, where do we go to buy your stuff? And I, I went to my buddy and I'm like, buy my stuff. I thought I was just like helping your guys out. He's like, no, 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 you got to sell something. So that's how I got into teaching. But in my years of teaching for about 10 years now, um, I have found that the number one thing that holds people back is having the right niche, finding the right market and knowing what to do with it. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, most of this presentation is gonna be done on screen. So we're gonna dive in the computer, which kind of bums me out because I was hoping we'd be able to use this new, um, this new setup with the camera, but we will use it some, right? I got it nice and erased so that we can go through and uh, a lot of you guys were asking for me to replace that chalkboard so we don't get that chalkboard sound uh, and we did do that so hopefully you guys appreciate that this thing was a pain in the butt to get on um, on the board but it worked really well it's like a giant electrical tape so if you ever need like an eight foot by four foot electrical tape uh, that's pretty much what this is so uh, cool all right so welcome and hello uh, looks like we got a lot of people uh, logging on right now. Let's go ahead and jump in the screen and see what we got. And hopefully we can get this going. But yeah, it does look like it's a lot clearer on the camera angles, which is pretty cool. Okay, so hello, welcome, um, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. And uh, welcome to our presentation. And today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the big thing of can you copy one of my simple sites? Right? A lot of people ask me, they're like, Marcus, you know how to find niches, right? How many of you guys out there, you're like, okay, yeah, Marcus knows how to find niches. I don't think that's some big surprise. He's been doing it for a long time. And uh, you're like, I wish, so, I wish he would just like give me one of his niches, right? And it's kind of cool. 
So pretty cool. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about that. Now you're gonna see some boxes, some little pictures of our niche markets up on the screen. Uh, the first one you have there, the little red one with the little scorpion looking things, that is a tattoo niche that um, I went into. That tattoo niche, I think before I sold it, it was doing like 137 to $200 a day, which is really cool, right? How many of you guys, if you could make 137 bucks a day on a simple little niche, you'd be like, dude, I am, I'm pretty happy, All right? That's like, uh, what would that be? About $5,000 a month or something like that, like 40, 50, maybe even 60,000 a year. Uh, really cool, so we'll look at that. Uh, the next one I did was a pregnancy calculator. A lot of people are like, what? How is that a niche? Right? People want to go on their Facebooks and their stuff and put like a little countdown image that says, hey, I'm going to have my baby in, uh, you know, four months or whatever. Right? And, and you look at it and you're like, how do we make money with that? It doesn't even make sense. So if you're already looking at this and you're like, okay, tattoos, pregnancy counters, Marcus, how are you making money? This doesn't make sense. And then we're going to we're going to show you that. Okay. Uh, next one was movie times and coupons. That was a niche I went into, uh, which was a really good niche. I think if I remember correctly before uh, that one, the offer went out on us. We had an offer for a toolbar and that company just kind of stopped, but they stopped after I made a lot of money. So I was kind of happy with that. Uh, we still made a lot. Um, I think it was making like uh, 70 to like $200 a day on a really good day. Uh, then we had our mortgage calculator site. This was a really good one. Um, obviously the mortgage industry is huge. Uh, this one, I think our best day on AdSense was like $1,300 just on AdSense alone on that site. Uh, so it was really cool. And it was all paid traffic. I was paying, I think $300 a day for traffic and I was making like nine to 1400 bucks. Now I got to ask you, cause I know a lot of people are scared of paid traffic, right? If you're scared of paid traffic type scared or something like that, um, because a lot of people have this misconception that when they buy traffic, it's, it's like you just give a thousand dollars to someone and you kind of like get on your knees and pray and hope that's not how it works at all. Right? Like I, I give them five bucks and I, if I don't make my five bucks back, I pause it and I say, what the hell's going on? Why didn't I make my five bucks back? Because if you look at it on that niche, I was paying 30 cents a click, which means I get roughly 20 clicks uh, for $6, which is right? A little bit above the five, but it's a little bit, you know, and you look at it and you're like, okay, in 20 clicks, I, I ought to see something, right? I maybe like, someone clicks a lead or, or clicks a button or something in 20 clicks, there should be something. I, I'd like to run it a hundred, you know, which would be, uh, what would that be? $30 or something, but you don't have to. A lot of times I start these with five. So really, really cool. Okay. Now we're going to go through, like Susie has a question about, um, a photography site and, and we'll go through questions at the end. So if you guys stick around, I guarantee you're going to love this presentation. And I guarantee that at the end, you're going to love my answers to your questions. So Susie, keep that question till the end. Um, I do that because I suck at multitasking. I'm terrible. Like if I could forget my name, I probably would. Um, and you know, I want to make sure that I give you guys good ample time on your questions. Now, as we go through this training, if you have a question pertaining to what's going on, like if you were to say, Marcus, whoa, dude, what was the offer on the mortgage site? You know, that would be relevant. Um, but for other things like, you know, more different stuff, uh, wait till the end. The last site we have up here was the abs site for, you know, getting six pack abs, which I only have one ab. So you don't need to be an expert in your field, right? I, I got one ab and I was teaching people how to get six of them. And um, this one, I think our best day was $120 on that day uh, with one offer. There's another offer that made like 20 or $30 a day as well. So about 160, right? And a lot of these work really, really well. We're going to show you some of these. We're going to show you some that are running right now. Uh, we're going to talk to you about what works, what works right now. And we're going to talk to you about niche finding. Okay. Um, Tyler, keep that question towards the end as well. And uh, maybe we'll give away a prize at the end of the call or something like that. If you guys are into that type prize or something, um, if we do give away a prize, uh, it'll be based on the people who are most interactive and most cool. So that's how it works. And we'll pick one at random who's been interactive. So if you like the prize idea, type prize in the box. Okay, those are the sites we had. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about can you copy one of the sites? Can you make this work? Um, if our audio goes out at any time, just let me know on the uh, chat box and we will fix it. Sometimes that happens. Just, you know, I got to roll with it. Okay, now, you'll notice that underneath the sites that I have listed, there's a little box. This box is probably familiar to you guys. And this box is 
um, the Google AdWords keyword tool, okay? The keyword planner, as they call it. Great tool, wonderful tool. What it does is it tells us what people search for, AKA the keyword. It shows us the average monthly searches, AKA how many times a month it's searched for on average. It shows us the competition. Is there a lot of people competing? Is there low people competing? Very simple. And it also shows us what is known as the suggested bid price. What that means is that they suggest a certain amount. So like if I was to go to Google right now, and hopefully I don't kick the wire for my, we still in focus there? Okay, cool. If I was to go to Google right now, right like this, okay, and I was to type in structured, I'm going to bring this down here. Hey, what do you know? Structured settlement. Right, it is the 2000s. We actually do have wireless keyboards, which makes life a lot easier. Okay, if I typed in structured settlement, what this means, and, and you guys see all this, like these ads up here? Okay, lots of advertisers. There's four ads up there. Down on the bottom, you got two more ads, three more ads. On the second page, lots of ads. I mean, there's lots of ads. Type ads if you see ads, right? And you know the difference, right? You obviously know the difference between the ads where people are paying and the free stuff that don't, doesn't say ad. Okay. So type ads if you're with me. And what that means is that these guys, when they're on structured settlement, if I was to click, if I was to click on the ads for structured settlement, like if I clicked one of these, Google's saying, Hey, they're paying like $135 a click. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but does anyone else think that's insane? And I have seen higher, but does anyone else think that's insane? You're like, someone is paying $135 for one visitor to their website. Type insane if you think that's insane. I, just so I know that I'm not alone here, right? Does anyone else like, dude, really? 135 bucks, 113 bucks, 106 bucks. All right, so we look at this and we're like, wow, check that out. So that inventory, right? So 720 clicks at... 130 something bucks a click, that inventory is worth like $93,000 a month, right? And people are like, wow, you can't make money with that, that small amount of searches. Okay, maybe you can, right? Maybe, maybe you can, okay? So we look at that. Now, uh, Joe, uh, Jose says, well, that's Google. Well, no, it's not. It has nothing to do with Google. It has to do with the advertisers, right? The advertisers are, are what's jacking that price up. It has nothing to do with Google or set prices or anything like that. Right, it's like a bidding war. Like if I go through and I say, well, I think I can pay 200 bucks a click, boom, now the top spot's gonna be 200 a click. Okay, now again, remember, the only reason they would pay that is if they're making more than that. Okay, think about that for a minute. So like whenever you look at the numbers in Google and you look at the numbers on paid search and all this, right? I want you to look at that and I want you to focus and I want you to say to yourself, someone's making more. Right? Someone is making more. Okay, we got to look at that. Someone's making more. All right, and my thinking is, might as well be you, right? How many of you guys are like, yeah, I, I want it to be me. All right, now I'm not saying you're going to make more than $135 a click. I'm not saying that you're going to get paid $135 a click. I'm not saying you're going to make anything. What I'm doing is showing you what's out there. Okay, we're going to show you what's out there. We're going to show you what's worked for me, like this examples up top. And we're going to show you that you are in control of this. Okay, how many of you guys up until now in your internet marketing, you feel out of control? You're like, I, I can't control anything. I set up a site, no one clicks on it. I buy some ads, no one purchases. I get this stuff, I put up a banner, and nothing happens. Marcus, I am not in control of my marketing. Type out of control if that's you. Okay, and we're gonna rein that in, and I'm gonna make these comments a little bit bigger. And since we're on this screen, I'm gonna put these, I think I can zip them over here. All right, cool. I think that should do the trick, and then I'll put this OBS studio over here. All right, cool. Gotta love having a bazillion monitors in here. All right, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so a lot of people are saying they feel out of control. Now, welcome to Can You Copy One of My Simple Sites with me. I am Marcus Campbell. This is Affiliate Marketing Dude, where you want to keep going every time you want to learn about affiliate marketing. Because by now, whether this is your first video, 
and you're only, what are we, like 10 minutes into this thing? You guys know that I don't fluff around, right? We teach you the real deal stuff. Right? We're teaching you things that you can go out and use. Like These are examples. You want your site to convert? Make it look like these little guys here. Now, I got big versions and I have video walkthroughs of all my sites in the Simple Sites course, but for right now, you know, look at those. And we'll go through some as well a little bit later. But I want you to remember, for those of you who feel out of control in your internet marketing and your affiliate marketing, remember, you are in control of your content and you must direct the visitor where you want them to go. You're in control. You buy the pri you buy the ad, you get the free traffic, you choose where you're gonna get it, you set up everything. So like Janice says, she says she's out of control, she's scattered, there's no step by step. All right, well, we're gonna give you that, right? You're gonna start to understand it. The first step, and that's why this call is so important, the first step is understanding how a niche market works, or as those in Canada say, niche market, right? How does it work? Because that's where the rubber meets the road. That's how everything's going to work for you. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take a look right here. Okay, here's one of my sites. This is a site that I actually set up live on a webinar, right? I had a live webinar training where I went through and I built a little site as a example. Okay, and I was like, okay, check this out. I'm gonna set this up. I set it up live. I think it's still on YouTube somewhere, the video where I made it. It was uh, instant web hosting. Uh, was the site and you guys can see it as instantwebhosting.org um, that was the site i set up live on the call now check this out i set this up february of 2015 okay like, what was that almost three years ago and the first year was kind of slow i think we made like twelve thousand bucks or something but still how many of you guys if you were like i set up a site in a couple hours i do some work on it and i make a thousand dollars a month how many of you guys are like dude that would that would float my boat right there that would do it for me right and of course we're not going to retire on a thousand dollars a month i get it although a lot of america is living on a thousand dollars a month in retirement uh, we're going to talk about how to make a lot more right but how many of you guys would be like dude that would be a thousand dollars a month more than i'm making on my affiliate stuff right now and i know i could do mo most all right paul says it would be floaty in the bodian or floaty body or something like that doug said it float his boat curtis would float the boat i am just floating everyone's boat right now sounds kind of funny but at any rate let's take a look let's make this work okay so here we are check this out so if you were to average it since i set it up it's about 36 months now i've made seventy-seven thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars so 77 830 over 36 months now remember a lot of this came this year. Like, I think we did like 50 grand uh, last year or something. But that's an average of 2,161 or 2,161 per month, right? How many of you guys are like, holy cow, that's pretty cool. And like Jose says, check it out. I could make like 100 of these and make 100 grand a, a, a month or whatever it is. Like my math brain's not working, right? That's what happens when you switch to decaf. But at any rate, right, we look at this. We're like, there we go. Now, check this out. Does anyone notice anything kind of cool about this right like look at this you're like okay you made 77 grand that's pretty cool got 909 people to sign up that's pretty cool okay but what about that other number i only generated less than 10,000 clicks right that's not a whole lot right really cool so we got to look at that okay uh lynn keep that question toward the end good question but we'll answer that at the end okay so there we go check it out so we got yeah, the traffic does go up towards the end. And, and obviously our revenue did as well. I think one of these is, I think this is revenue and this is traffic or something like that. I don't know, something, right? But it's constant growth, yes. And hopefully next year or this year, 2008, uh, we're going to do even better and we're already on track to. But less than 10,000 clicks. So like how many of you guys would be happy if you were able to make like 77,000 bucks or almost 78,000 bucks on one of your sites? You're like, dude, that's pretty cool. Again, Results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Most of the people who learn this stuff or try to never end up doing anything with it. Um, so do yourself a favor. Do something with it. It's not that hard to do. You just have to be consistent. All right, so there we go. Check that out. We're averaging about, um, what would that be, about $8 a click? Pretty cool, right? If you knew you could get 8 bucks a click, how much would you pay on paid traffic? All right, here's our quiz. I want everyone to type it in, and maybe we'll use some of these answers for the prize at the end. If you could make $8 a click, how much would you spend in traffic? 
Okay, for, for one click. If you knew you could make eight, what would you spend to make that eight? All right, and we'll wait for those to come on in. Okay. All right, Chuck says that would give him an airboat. Okay, cool. Sherry says rocking. Okay, good, good, good. What would you pay, though? Okay, Lynn says three bucks. Okay, Haroon says the less is better. Dino says four to five dollars, four dollars, four dollars, two dollars. Uh, Paul says two. Chuck says seven ninety nine. Right, pretty good. Like if I could pay seven ninety nine and get that traffic and build a list, right? I wouldn't want to just make a penny because that's a little low. Personally, for me, I like to be at the halfway mark. Um, I've had friends. I had a buddy of mine that I taught internet marketing to, and this guy was spending like fifty thousand dollars a day on ads, and he was making like. 60,000 a day. That was a little bit more risk than I like to be exposed to, but I mean, he nailed it. He was doing really good. He, he made millions of dollars in this stuff. And I have taught him less than I teach you guys in my courses. Okay, so think about that for a minute. Like in my courses, there's the gold if you go use it, if you focus, right? But you gotta focus, you gotta do it. You gotta get in there and make it work. It's not that hard to do, you just have to do it. Janice says she'd spend $8 if she can get the contact. Exactly. I was just talking to one of my students who was in our Facebook group who actually, she's going to start working here. Um, she was talking to me. We went to lunch and we were talking about uh, marketing. And she's like, you know, I made this site about animals and I made this other site and they broke even. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome because you could break even and make it work. Now, Dino says, well, banks pay 3% on your money. 50% profit is sweet. Well, let me break that up for you. The bank pays 3% per year. If I can make 50% per day, I think I'm a lot better. Now, no guarantees. We don't know what we're going to make. That was just a cool answer, and I thought I'd say something about it. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Now, a lot of people were like, dude, this is crazy. $135 a click, right? You look at that, you're like, okay, well, I pay maybe $4 to make 8 but I don't know if I'm willing to risk no 135 bucks. That's pretty crazy. So let's take a look at some of these other high keywords. And we're looking at these words for a reason. We're looking at these words because they are based on niche markets. Okay, really, really cool. Now we have this here. Who says uh, this keyword is mesothelioma law firm, right? How many of you guys have seen those commercials? If you've been exposed to asbestos, you should call right now. The Donald whatever Bobo lawyer firm is standing by, right? You guys have seen those commercials. They run the commercials. Not because they're funny looking, but because they make money, right? They got some big lawsuit. They know at the end they're going to get money, whatever. They're willing to pay on this one, $179 a click, right? $179. Okay, a lot of people have seen the commercial. I got to ask you, how was my impression, right? Did I do good? I remember that guy who's like, bah, 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 like that. All right, so you could give me a, a rating on my impression one to 10. Okay, so $179 a click is pretty crazy. I mean, think about that for a minute. If you had to buy 10 clicks a day, that's $1,700 or almost $1,800 a day in traffic. All right, now I would do it if I knew I could make $3,600 a day or four grand a day or maybe even $2,500 a day. Okay, excellent. Everyone liked my impression there. Okay, so let's take a look here. And we have uh, Donate Car to Charity. All right, Donate Car to Charity, California is 130 bucks. Donate car for tax credit, 126 bucks. Donate cars in MA, is that Massachusetts? I think it is, 125. Donate your car in Sacramento, donate car California, 111. Sell annuity, annuity payment, donate your car for kids, asbestos lawyers, structure, I mean, look at this, we're still above $100 a click. Car insurance quotes, Colorado, uh, Nuant culture, don't know what that is. Freight stuff, hard drive recovery services, check that out. $99 for hard drive uh, decover, uh, recovery uh, services, okay? Uh, donate car in Maryland, motor replacements, cheap domain registration and hosting, $99. Donate a car in Maryland, uh, best criminal defense lawyers, on and on and on we go. So a lot of people, massage school in Dallas, uh, all kinds of stuff, right? So a lot of people, lots of money. How many of you guys are like, there's a lot of money out there. It is crazy. I just need to get some of it somehow, some way. Where does it come out, does it come out of the CD or on drive or what? I don't know, show me how to get it. Okay, there's a lot of money. These people are going to pay the money, whether you are an affiliate marketer or whether you just sit outside and play with your dog, 
right? Um, which I did yesterday. It was kind of cool. Um, but it doesn't matter what you do. Okay, this is one of the big hangups of business. People think that it matters what they do. What you do isn't going to change. Like, I just got a notification that a guy says, oh, well, this seems like some kind of get-rich-quick scheme. And he'll probably think that, right? Because, I mean, at one point, I did actually make money really quick, right? And that's kind of like the only way to really get rich if you uh, are in this kind of economy. Like, you look at Jeff Bezos. He's the richest guy in the world, and he's only been at it 20 years, right? That's it. And he became very rich early on. Bill Gates, boom, right away. Uh, people online, boom, right away. Uh, 2006 was when I got my big site and first made a million dollars a year. Boom, right away, right? 26 years old. And you say, is it a get rich quick scheme? Well, if you can find a way to get a, like, um, and of course, rich is a relative term, but if you can find a way to get like a hundred clicks a month for this keyword, yeah, you could get rich pretty damn quick, right? Is everyone with me? Type with me if you are. And we're going to take a look at that. So there's a lot of money here and it doesn't matter what you do. People think that it matters what they do. People think that their opinion is some kind of big thing, but it's not. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't really matter. What matters is what's happening, right? What is really, really happening? Okay, Terrell says, what do you use to see these results? Um, this is actually Google AdWords tool. Uh, this is an older um, list that I compiled about two years old. I think it's probably similar. Some of them might have gone up. Some of them might have gotten regulated and gone down. But I think they're pretty pretty dead on right now. Okay? So we look at this and we're like, okay, cool. Now, I want you to write this in the box if you're paying attention. Right? It doesn't matter what I think. Type that in the box. Like, even here. I am Marcus. I've been doing internet marketing for almost 20 years. And just to put it in perspective, I think the internet's only 25 years old. Right? Or 30, maybe. Um, so I've been doing it for most of my life. I've done internet affiliate marketing and it still doesn't matter what my opinion is. It doesn't matter. That's why I don't share my opinion with you on the sites, right? I, I have no opinion. I don't care. What do I care about is what works. I care about results and I care about experience. What happens, right? It doesn't matter what you, you might say, well, Marcus is stupid. His, um, impressions are lame and he has a chalkboard and I think chalkboards are, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is what's happening, right? Can you guys see that this is what is happening right now? Like right now, these people are bidding. Right now, someone is making money with it. Right now, those ads are running on TV somewhere. It doesn't matter what you think about it. What matters is your visitors. That's what matters. That's what matters. Their opinions matter, right? Like right now, your opinion matters to me because you're my visitors and I want you to do something. Okay, think about that for a minute, right? My opinion, who cares, right? But your opinion does matter to an extent, right? There's some people that don't, some people that do, but we got to look at it as a whole. Now, these are your visitors and tell me if you feel this way, right? You're there and I'm going to paint a picture. Okay, we're going to paint this picture and here you are. You're on Google, you're on YouTube, you're looking around, you're trying to figure out how to do affiliate marketing, right? You're like, okay, I'm trying to figure out affiliate marketing. All right, now how do you feel? All right, how do you feel so far? Type your, your answer in the box, okay? And again, at the end, we'll pick someone to win some kind of prize or something like that, okay? How do you feel when you're trying to look at this stuff? Maybe it's late at night, maybe it's early in the morning, or maybe like me, you're like, wake up at, back when I started, I, I woke up at like 11, I went and got a big, huge burrito and a giant Coke that you probably could have taken a bath in, and I sat there and I worked all day. Okay, so um, Rick says he feels lost. Um, Biz says he's confused. A lot of people confused. A lot of people lost. Okay, some people are happy. That's good. Just probably because I'm entertaining or I'd like to think that. Right, educated, a little overwhelmed, lost, curious. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, now these are your visitors. They're like this. Because in the back of your mind, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, I need to make some freaking money. I want to do it now. I'm tired of reading this stuff. Give me a way to work it, right? Like Lynn says, she lost 500 bucks when she tried something else um, and she's bummed out, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this, okay? Tyler says he watches like 20 of my videos in the last week, all right? Well, I've, I watch 20 of my videos a week because I have to edit them and I'm tired of my voice. So kudos to uh, Tyler there for listening to me. Okay, Janice says she's overwhelmed and skeptical. Okay, cool. So well, let's take a look at that. Indica, if you have a question about the course or you need help with it, go to pcmoneymaking.com. That's where you get support. 
Okay, these are your visitors. They're super hyper crazed, give me what I want right now people. How many of you guys look at it and you're like, okay, everyone in America is pretty much entitled and they want what they want right now for the price they want right now, delivered the way they want right now, packaged the way they want right now, and you better not be late and it better work perfectly the first time out, right? How many of you guys are like that? Okay, or you've seen it. Okay, so we look at that. All right. Cool. So that's what we got. We got that there. Here they are. They're irritated, right? They're like, hey, man, I want to find the right tattoo. I'm going to go to the tattoo parlor tomorrow. I need a picture of a dragon tattoo. I want to find the one that I want. Okay. Um, maybe they're looking to fix something, right? Repair something or, or something like that. And they're like, this is what I want. Now, people have crazy crazy add right have you guys ever watched someone on their phone okay i'm guilty of this like when we go to concerts and stuff and there's people in front of us or the movies i just kind of watch them and i don't watch them for what they're looking at on their phone i watch them for how they do it and they sit there and they're like this and they scroll so fast you can't even see anything right i mean it's like i don't even know how the human eye picks stuff up but somehow the lady knows what she's looking for and boom 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 real fast right that's how internet marketing is. These people want what they want right now. That's why so many people who teach you to go for a, a market that you're passionate about and write all about your passion and tell them everything. Right? That's why this stuff doesn't work well because these people want what they want right now. You got three seconds and you gotta get their attention. Right? They could be on like a subway or a, a bus or a car God forbid if they're driving and looking at their phone. I have a hard enough time driving without my phone. I can't even imagine doing it with my phone. Never text and drive. Never internet and drive. Your life's worth more than a stupid text. That's our public service announcement for today. But at any rate, that is these people, right? They're looking at this stuff. They want it now. They don't want to do the work, right? People don't want to read a book. They want the cliff notes. Everyone with me? Type cliff notes if you're with me, okay? And if you're don't remember Cliff Notes. They were an ethical way to cheat your way through high school. Although I never did use them because I found it harder to do that than to just BS my way through the test. Right? I was good at BSing. Still am today. All right. So we look at that. Gotta love shooting the old crap. Okay. Yes, we all remember Cliff Notes. So these are your visitors. All right. They're like a ticking time bomb. If they can't find what they want within a few seconds, boom, gone. They're out of there. They're gone, and you will never see them again, right? How many of you guys, this is your first live training with me? Type a one in the box. If it's your 10th, put a 10 in the box. If it's your 100th, put a 100th in the box, okay? How many times have you been on a live stream with me? Type it in the box. We're going to use this as a example, okay? And we're going to do a little example so you guys can see how it works. Got a lot of new people, good. Doug's been on three, Whitetail one. Katrina's been on probably more than 100. Uh, Omar, Demon, a lot of people on one, okay? A lot of people on three. Okay, now, if you're on your first webinar or your 100th webinar, here's the deal. You probably saw a video, and it probably connected with you, and, um, and it probably got you to subscribe or go to my website or something like that, right? The reason that happened is because I gave you what you wanted within a few seconds. Now, giving people what they want could be kind of elusive, right? Because I'm giving you what you want right now, but I'm also giving you story and stuff because I understand that stories and all this stuff and having fun is what makes you really learn. Okay, I could tell you, uh, go bid on this word and whatever, and no one will do it. But if I make it fun and I tell you how it works and I show you how it's working today, a lot of you guys will actually take, um, take the time and do it, right? Really good. Okay, so if they can't find what they're looking for in a few seconds, they're out of there. Lynn says, so we are the bait. Yes, every visitor to every site that I ever own is always the bait. I am always fishing. I'm always wanting to know what you click on, right? Just last night, how many of you guys got the email with the little buttons? I was like, maybe a button will help more people click on the email. Okay, it actually didn't, but I tested it anyway, right? So very, very, very important. Okay, but if they can't find what they want in a few seconds, they are out of there. Okay, now we got a lot of people that are staying around for this call, so you guys are getting what you want. So your site and your your site must have a goal and a purpose. 
Okay, it's got to have a goal and it's got to have a purpose. People don't do this. I don't know why, right? They go through it and they're like, I'm just going to set up a site and hope that it works. They don't have a goal. They don't have a purpose. When I set up a site, this is how it goes in my mind. Okay, I'm going to set this up. It's going to be about the lottery tickets. And I want people to click over here in the box. And I think that most people will click over here in the box. I think I'm going to probably get it 70% or more to click in the box. And I'm going to get them. I want them to download the toolbar. And then maybe some people will get a ClickBank offer. That's how it goes. Right? How many of you guys, if you're honest with yourself, you say, I've never thought that way about a site in my life. You're like, I've never sat there and said, this is what I want them to do. This is what I think most people are going to do. It's like science. It's a hypothesis. You're like, check it out. I think this is what's going to happen. You set it up. Nine times out of 10 for me, it usually happens pretty dead on uh, with what I expect. And so we look at that. Okay. So we got to look at that. Okay. Paul Barry says he's never thought that way. Okay. Anyone else? If you're honest with yourself, you say, no, I've never thought that way. Okay, because you got to ask yourself, what do I want them to do? What do I want them to do? Do I want them to click something? Do I want them to buy something? And hopefully, since a lot of people are saying I've never thought that way, hopefully that's a little aha moment takeaway that you can write down and remember and say, wow, whenever I do anything, i got to have a goal and a purpose. Like if I put something on Facebook, it's got to be a goal and a purpose. If I put something on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, whatever else out there, it has to have a goal. And it has to have a purpose. Why am I doing it? What am I expecting? What is my ex expectation? What's the outcome going to be? Right? What do we want them to do? Do we want them to click? Do we want them to buy? Do we want them to opt in? Okay, then we look at it. Then you think about what you want them to do. Like in this lotto example, I'm going to show you, I wanted them to download the lotto toolbar. Right? I was like, I get $2, $3 when they download the toolbar. So I want them to do that. But that's what I want them to do. So this is how I made my site. Does everyone see how that works? It's like, okay, I wanted everyone to click over here. So I put the latest winning numbers over there. Why did I do that? Because I know that's what they're there for. Someone searching in lottery numbers is they want the lottery numbers. Okay, now I don't want to just put the top numbers right on the page because then they wouldn't get the toolbar. Instead, I'm like, check out the numbers, get the toolbar, and you can see the numbers all the time. If you like the lotto and you want to be a gambling addict, then you can uh, use my site or whatever. Hopefully we're not promoting that, but hopefully we're just getting the guy who buys one ticket. Right, so there we go. That's what we did. That's what they did. Now, in um, when I looked at this site, it did exactly what it does. Right? It did exactly what I wanted it to do. The people clicked the thing, they downloaded the toolbar, I made money. This site, for those of you who are like, oh, you can't make a site and make money, this site actually made money within 13 minutes of putting it on the internet. 13 minutes, I bought the domain the same day. So I bought the domain and 13 minutes later, I had this site and boom, it made money 13 minutes later. I think it made $6 or $3 its first uh, 13 minutes. And then it went on by the end of the day to make $1,300. Imagine that, right? A lot of people are like, holy cow, you know, um, I put up a site and I hope it makes money within this year. That's not how I, that's not how you market. That's how you mess around, right? The way you market is you go and you get people there and you make it work and you do it, right? And that's what I did. I went there and I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the traffic. We're going to make it work, right? Very simple. We actually, I think on this one, it was 100% uh, MSN traffic. I didn't even use um, other pay-per-click. It was really cool, okay? All right. Um, Alana, keep that uh, question towards the end since it's a little off topic. Yes, this was paid traffic. It was about 60, 50 to 60% profit. Okay. Uh, did I buy the leads? No, I did not buy leads. I bought clicks. Okay. And they were like three cents each or something. Okay. Now your content must lead them to where you want to go. Now, again, remember this, this is teaching you good stuff here. Okay. One, you got to go through and you got to look at this and say, okay, well, I got to find these, this market and I got to go through and this is what they want. Next, your content must lead them to where you want them to go, right? So here you go. When we look at this, it's like, okay, um, if someone's looking for gas prices, which is ridiculously non-competitive, right? asking them to put their zip code in the box is not difficult. It's like, there you go. You put your zip code in the box. That's what they're going to do anyway, right? That's what they're going to do, okay? Prime rate for mortgages, that's what they're going to do. They're like, well, I got to find the rate in my area. Boom, there you go, Okay. Uh, do you have to buy the domain to make money? No, you don't have to buy a domain to make money, but if you're serious about it and you find a good niche, 
buy the domain. Come on, it's eight bucks. Seriously. Uh, so many people like scrimp and save where it doesn't matter, right? Like I'll bet you people today would rather go buy a brand new TV to watch the Super Bowl on than they would invest in like a high ticket niche or a software that's going to help them make money. I don't know why people are like that, but it's silly, right? It, it just is. Use what you got to use because I guarantee you're spending $8 on something else anyway. So you might as well spend it on something that's going to make money. Like I look at it and my wife and I have this agreement where like whenever I spend on the money, the money on the business, no questions asked, right? Because she knows what I spend on is going to work. Right. Like I'll go and I'll buy some training course or I'll go and I'll buy traffic or I'll go and I'll do this stuff. And it's like no questions asked because, you know, that that's what I know how to do. And I invest on that. I don't like go invest on other stuff so much. Um, we kind of have everything we need. Um, but I don't do that. Like my focus is on focusing on what works. And if you're willing to make an investment in yourself and you're willing to learn it. And again, I understand that some people like have no money at all. Um, and my answer to you would be go find it, go get it, go work for it, do what you got to do. Um, because most people can find it or get it if they need to, if they really think something's going to work. If they don't think it's going to work, then, you know, that's a whole nother ball game. But if you think it's going to work, then there you go, right? It's like, hey, if I can make 50% on my traffic, then yay. Um, so there we go, right? So here's an example of the prime rate quote. Uh, here's one of the tattoo. Now notice that all of these um, are focused on what actually works. Um, in there you go, right? Put your name and email to get this stuff, okay? Okay, now, these are the mistakes that a lot of people make on their blog because a lot of people make these, blog, these blogs and these sites and they, they don't do it, right? Uh, Lillian says, you make it sound like making money on affiliate marketing is like A, B, and C. It is. It's very much A, B, and C. And I'll go over the board to show you how A, B, and C it is, right? Here's the A, B, and C. And the reason we bring this up, and hopefully you guys can see the thing here, right? Here's A, B, and C. It's very simple. Okay, so we look at it and we're like, Marcus, what's A? All right, here's A. All right, A is you find your niche market. Okay, find niche. Okay, we might need a better pen here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so A is find your niche. There you go, right? So there you go, you find your niche. Now, when you're finding your niche, we go through, we go use our Google AdWords tool. And the reason that I brought those up, those examples up for you in the beginning with the very expensive traffic is because what we do is we find back doors to those market. Okay, so if I can find a back door, like those people looking up, donate a car. Okay, watch this. And this will uh, blow your mind if you let it. If you don't, if you're skeptical and you're looking at stupid stuff, it's not gonna work. But if you actually focus and drink coffee, <laughs> decaf, right? If you actually focus on this, this will change the game for internet marketing for you. And I think we're done with the heater for the day. There we go. All right, we'll unplug it, so. Okay, so if you actually focus, this is gonna make all the difference in the world for you, okay? So A is find your niche. So like we have those people looking up donate, car, or whatever. Now what I like to do is I like to use my trigger words, okay? Trigger words, our words that we put into the Google AdWords tool or whatever keyword tool you like to use. Uh, you can check out keywordsniffer.com if you want to learn about tools as well. Um, but your trigger words, you go in and you put them in. So um, you, instead of putting like donate car, because that's going to be competitive, what you do is you say, well, I'm going to put in a trigger word, maybe something like um, deductions or maybe something like find or learn or download or um, maybe something like calculate, maybe something like, um, uh, what would it be, PDF, maybe something like uh, lower, maybe something like um, percentage, okay? Now what these will do is they go through, and if you don't have a niche market, which most people don't have a good niche, right? I don't think, if you had a good niche, you probably wouldn't be on this call. But we look at this and we type these into the box. Now using this list, okay, and in the Simple Sites course, we have a huge list, there's hundreds of words, okay? Using this list and your Google keyword tool, you're gonna find out what people are searching for, okay? Are we still on the screen? We should be, yeah, you guys should be seeing it. Okay, cool, um, so there we go, deduction. But using these words, we're gonna go through it. Now using these words, I was able to find hidden 
tax deduction. Okay? Now, does anyone see a correlation here between the word hidden tax deduction and the word, I know I have a better pen here, and the word um, donate used car? Does anyone see that? Okay, yes, I will try to write bigger. I have another pen somewhere. It's a white pen. Okay, there we go. I think the white one is like a chalk marker. Find niche. Okay, so there we have that, okay? Okay, cool. So you should be able to see it in the white, okay? So that's what we have. Now, we were able to find hidden tax deduction, okay? Can you guys all see that? Okay, so we have hidden tax deduction. I think you can see it. Let me see on my screen. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, the white works good. Okay, so there we have that. Now, uh, Katrina says, yes, the trigger word will bring the same traffic as donate used cars. Well, not the same. Not the same traffic. Like, hidden tax deduction people don't just, not all of them have like a car sitting around that they can donate, but they are looking for hidden tax donations. So what I can do, which is B, okay, so ABC of affiliate marketing, B is... Uh, look at the traffic, okay? First, I got to say, okay, how am I going to make money on it, okay? So now we got to say uh, hidden tax deduction, boom, we're going to make money on um, donate car offers and uh, tax offers, okay? So i got all kinds of things. I can make money on tax offers. I can make money on um, to donate the car, all kinds of things, right? And all I need to do is like get a few people for donate car because that's so damn expensive. I can make a lot off of a few clicks. B, make site. Okay, make site or blog. Okay, I teach you how to do this. It's easy. I actually had an 83-year-old lady came to me and she's like, Marcus, I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, here, watch this video. She's like, man, I made a site in like 10 minutes watching your video. I never thought I could do it. My grandkids were laughing at me because they don't know how to make sites and here I am making a site. Right, and she did. We had a, um, another guy who was an older gentleman who made sites and made a bunch of money. So, I mean, if they can do it, you can do it. Anyone can do it if you want to. If you don't want to, you can't do it. The only thing I can't do, I can teach you how to make a fortune if you listen. I can show you how to make this stuff work. I can, I've done it for thousands of people have learned this stuff from me. Uh, a lot of people have gone on to make money. I actually get, um, now that I'm active on Facebook or trying to be, uh, which by the way, if you want to join our Facebook group, joinmarcus.com. Uh, you can go there to join that. But a lot of people come to me and they're like, dude, Marcus, I am retired. I stay home with my kids because I got your stuff and I learned what you had and I get those stories all the time and it's absolutely awesome and that's why I do this because I love it. I also do it because it makes a lot of money, okay? Right, I'm a businessman. A lot of people are like, Marcus, you shouldn't be charging to teach people stuff. Well, it costs a lot of money to do this and I'm a businessman. That's what we're teaching you guys is business. I would be the biggest hypocrite in the world if I wasn't using this for profit, right? So there we go. But at any rate, number B or letter B as it were, is to make a site a blog. Now, Marcus, what are we gonna make our site about? That's why you find the niche first. You gotta find the niche first. I'm gonna make my site about hidden tax deductions. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have someone write some articles about uh, maybe 17 hidden tax deductions, okay? Or, or maybe 16, I'll have them do 16. That way, number 17 or number one, whichever one I want, will be the donate the used car, all right? Do you guys see how that works? And then boom, you take each one, one, two, three, four, five, and you link them to an affiliate offer. I could link it to like a uh, tax lawyer. I could link it to tax software. I could link it to donate cars. Boom, I could link it to all this stuff. Guys, this is how it works, it's not rocket science. I wish it was because a lot of people think I'm way smarter than I am, but it's actually not. I am kind of smart, a little bit, a tad bit. I didn't go to school or nothing, but I learned some stuff. All right, C, run it. Boom, run it, see how it works. Okay, we could test it out. We could run our maybe three page, five page site and get some traffic to it, see what people do. Did anyone click the offers? Did this happen? Okay, then maybe we'll go back and be like, well, maybe I'd like to build a mailing list. Maybe instead I'll be like, put your name and email to uh, get the tax guide. Boom, there you go. All right, really cool. Okay, is there any questions on that or did that make sense to everyone? Right, that's the essence of finding a niche is ABC. You find your niche, okay? Your niche is your keyword. And then 
you go from there. Okay, cool. So I think we got a lot of questions coming in. And let's see. Okay, copy and paste site, give a blank simple site. We do give uh, some sites. Yes, yeah, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we will definitely be using the chalk pens. They're just a pain to like kind of do that. Okay. Um, okay. All right, someone said when the lights around the board are brighter, it's easier to see. Okay, we'll try that out. Okay, where do I buy my traffic? Anywhere that has it. Um, simplicity is key. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the deal, right? This is what your people want. Again, to recap, we saw these people are paying a lot of money. They're going to pay it no matter whether you're doing something or not. You just got to do it, okay? Now, here's three mistakes many people make on their blog. If you can show them, you can sell more. Show them how to get the tax deductions, right? Really cool. Sherry says, how do we link it to an attorney? Um, that is a really detailed process, uh, which I go into in the Simple Sites course. It's actually pretty easy. You just have to know what you're doing so you do it right. Okay. All right. So show them and sell more. But the short answer would be go through a CPA network. Okay. So the short answer there, here we go. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we use interactive tools. This is why when I build the high ticket niches and I uh, have the Simple Sites course, we have all these tools in it that work and do this stuff because the drop downs work, the questions, the forms, the search boxes, check boxes, monetize ads, reports, downloads, videos, etc. These are the things that people focus on. These are the things people want. And if you look at this, right, Google AdSense makes lots and lots of money, billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. So do other content networks. You got Tabula, you got MSN, you got all kinds of ads. I mean, it is through the roof and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. Just to show you one of my accounts alone, uh, this is one of our uh, Google AdSense things, or I'm sorry, AdWords, and it shows you like what we were bidding on, how much it cost me, how many clicks we got, stuff like that. Um, this is an older one, but it's it's pretty cool. It shows you, there you go, like this one got uh, 3.8 million clicks for 122 grand. Obviously, I was making a lot more than that, and uh, you work it that way. Okay, David says, how do you come with come up with such an equation, tax and donate, is it just logic? No, uh, it's 20 years of training myself to think that way. Um, what I do is I know what's out there. So I know what offers are out there. I've been doing this so long and I know what niches are going to work, right? So when I go and I look at keywords, I think to myself, like um, one of my biggest niches was finding uh, the cursors for a market that was huge. And, and no one knew that this market would ever want little mouse cursors, uh, but they did. And because they did, I made millions of dollars in that market. Um, and I didn't sell anything. I was just giving something away. Um, and it works extremely well if you do it the right way. Um, and that's kind of what you want. Like, that's the gold. David hit the nail on the head. Coming up with the equation of using donate cars and the tax keyword is the money. Right? That is the gold. That's it right there. That is the whole crux of where this stuff pivots from. I don't think things pivot from a crux. But if they did... That would be where they pivoted from, okay? That is it, okay? Like Katrina says, you got to live and breathe this business like any other business. Yes and no. Um, like, I've done the breathing, so I can help you with it. So we go for that. So here's the Ten Commandments of blog making and site making so that you know. So, like, if we have that and we're like, okay, um, I'm going for the tax deductions word, and we're like, okay, how do I build it? Well, we go through and we look at these Ten Commandments. We're like, number one. Don't beat around the bush. This dude is beaten around the bush. That's why I picked that image. He is just beating around that bush. And we look at it. We're like, we can't do that. We got to be direct. We got to show them, hey, these are the tax things. This is how it's going to help you. This is how you're going to use them. Number one's a good one. Find a way to do it or whatever. Okay. Number two, don't confuse your visitor. Okay. We got to, we got to read them like commandments. Thou shalt not confuse thy visitor with useless info. The guy doesn't want to know about 1987 Ford values. The guy doesn't want to know about some tax thing that's not relevant to him. Okay, it's got to be very, very, very specific. Don't bore him with useless, useless info. Okay, Sherry says, mine is real estate. Should I go for probate, foreclosures, qualifying customers, etc.? No, you should go and use the trigger words. Okay, we're going to talk about the trigger words and how they work because that is where it all works. Now, if you already have a niche, if you're already there, if you're like Sherry and you're like, I want to go into real estate and you don't know how to find these markets, then get a high ticket niche and we will make it for that market. And I'll give you a keyword report that says, hey, do this. 
right? Because that's where the gold is. The gold is not in setting up the site. It's not in building fancy pages. It's not in Facebook. It's not in this. It's in knowing what to give to your market. Okay. It's in knowing the keyword to go to and the, the market to go to. And like that example, hidden tax deductions is like 10 cents a click. Literally. I think we set up a test, um, on one of our videos and, and it was like 10 or 12 cents a click. So super, super cheap. Okay. Number three, do not bore your visitors. Thou shalt not bore thy visitors with boring info, right? Don't bore them. Give them what they want. That's it. Plain and simple. Number four, do not go broad with your topic. Stay focused. If you're going for real estate, okay, you don't like make a different site for foreclosure. Don't make it real estate and foreclosure. Make it focused. Okay. Make it very focused. Number five, do not sacrifice your message for a fancy design. A lot of people look at my sites. They're like, Marcus, your sites are ugly. Yes, I know they are. That's why they work. They work because they're simple. That's why. Plain and simple. You got to be able to find what you want within three seconds. All right. Thou shalt not, thou shalt help thy visitors in a direct way using their favorite medium. What do they like? Do your guys watch videos? Maybe they're magicians and they like to watch videos. Or maybe they are accountants and they like PDFs and spreadsheets. Okay. Uh, whatever it is, use the favorite medium that works for them. Very, very, very simple. Um, Bob, use uh, PCMoneyMaking.com for requesting that. All right. Number seven. Thou shalt always direct your visitors where you want them to go. Where do you want your visitor to go? You want them to go to that uh, car download or car um, donate thing? Send them there. Very simple. You just say, go here and then tell them why. Um, number eight, thou shalt always find ways to interact with your visitors. Find a way to interact with your visitors. My wife's outside the door with the dog running around. Okay. Um... Noreen says, even if I'm not speaking, I'm sending emails. So I don't know what that meant, but okay, cool. Okay, number nine, thou shalt always use content to lead people to what makes you money, right? Use your content to get people to make the money, right? That, that's what you want to do. You did, that's the whole purpose, right? You want to make money with this stuff. You don't want to just mess around. You want to make money with it. And it's not that hard to do. Again, the key is what works. Now, uh, Bad Dog University says he thinks that nice photos on your page would be better. You mean this page or a web page? Most people, I mean, if, if it's a photography thing, yeah, then use nice photos or something like that. All right. So really cool. All right. Number 10, thou shalt always use your design to guide your visitors eyes where you want them to go. Right. Very, very simple. Now here's a bonus commandment. The bonus commandment is thou shalt get a profit blog today. Now, I think the big takeaway uh, take from today's call is an understanding where the money's at. If you guys know where the money is, right? What is the money thing? Type it in the box if you pick that up. Okay. Oh, the beta fish site. Yeah, the beta fish site was a fun one. Okay. What is the big takeaway? All right, the big takeaway, like Shelly says, is finding the right niche. That's it, finding the right niche. That's how it works, right? Finding the niche and knowing what to offer them. Like that example I gave you for the tax deductions and the donate a car, that's the money. That's it right there. Okay, if you use that niche with what I teach you, it works really, really well. Like Daniel says, the money is knowing how to connect cheap non-competitive keywords to expensive ones. It's the niche, right? Does anyone doubt that the money is in the niche? It is in the niche. Now, remember at the beginning of this, I said, can I hand you a profitable niche? Well, that's what we're going to talk about here in a minute. Now you can see here, um, this is some examples from um, paid ads we ran on sites. This was the mortgage site. We did like $100,000 in paid ads on that. I had an HTML one, which was, we got a lot of traffic. It made very little per click, but it worked because um, the amount of volume we were driving, we were making like, uh, I think seven cents a click on like 20,000 clicks a day or something like that. Uh, sometimes even 40. Uh, so it was really cool. Um, then we had recipes. Um, I had a family member even set up a site. She made some money, gas, prime stuff, uh, zip mortgages and, um, some other sites as well. Hawaii site. I made a site about Hawaii vacations and everything like that. Right. Really cool. Now, um, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about this and uh, we're also going to have a bonus. I should have put that down on the bottom of the page, but I woke up a little late 
So I didn't have time to put that at the bottom. Uh, but you can see here, just um, in 2017, that one little site I had did $37,995 just on this one offer, right? So we look at that and we're like, wow, that's pretty cool. That's just one little site and one little niche knowing how to do it. And this niche has nothing to do with what I'm selling. This is a web hosting niche. And the key word is like the one I wrote on the board. It has nothing to do with it, right? It's not, like if you go for people looking up web hosting, it's too competitive, right? It's too competitive. But if you go for something around the beaten path, which is what I help you find, that's how it works. Now, this is results from just one niche. Imagine if you had a bunch of them. Again, results are not typical, implied or guaranteed. Most people don't make anything with what they do because they don't do anything with it. Um, this is a business, there's always risk. There's risk in life, right? There's risk in everything. Um, if you're willing to take a risk and make things work, then I can help you. If you're, you know, too afraid to do anything, then I probably can't help you because, you know, that, that's a, a different type of helper that you need. Um, so that's, that's kind of the idea. But what, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about how this works, and I want to talk to you about um, what we can do to help you, right? Because if I gave you one of these niches, like if I went and I said, hey, um, I'm going to give you this niche, and I'm going to buy your domain name in the niche, and I'm going to set up a site in the niche, and I'm going to tell you the offers to run. I'm going to put some content on it. I'm going to put your opt-in page on it. I'm going to put some little images on it. We're going to make your theme. We're going to set it up for you and show you what to do. How many of you guys would be like, wow, that would change the game for me? Like if Marcus came in and said, go to this niche. This is your keyword. Go buy traffic here. Okay, and then Marcus actually bought the domain name because he knows how they work. Like some of the domain names I buy are worth like 2,000 bucks. Um, actually, one was worth 25,000, but that was only one. I've never really done big domain selling. That was just one I bought, some guy wanted to buy, um, which was cool. He offered me like 1,500, and I was like, nah, I'm not gonna take it. And then I got him up to like 25 grand. I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, but again, remember, negotiation. Like he thought I was gonna settle for like 1,200 bucks. And I'm like, no, uh -uh, ain't gonna happen. And most people would have settled, but I know the value of it. I know the value, just like I know the value of these niches. So here's what we're gonna do for you if you join today, which is really cool, okay? And here's what we got. All right, for your niche, here's how it's going to work. We give you a personal niche market selection. I pick your niche for you, okay? This is from niches that I have. You come in, you say, Marcus, I like golfing, I like mortgages, and I like real estate. And I go in and I say, okay, cool. Um, I got a good one in real estate. You're like, good, I want it. I want it. And I say, good, you got it. We give you the domain name. Okay, these domains, it says 297, but most of them are worth $800 plus, right? So you could go and you could sell it if you want. Again, I don't know what you sell it for, but this is appraised by one of the biggest domain appraiser sites um, on the planet. So, I mean, if they say it's worth it, it's pretty cool. Now, they did say that my $25,000 domain was only worth 1200 bucks, but hey, you know, I got 25 grand for it, so that was cool. All right, so um, you get the domain and everything like that. You're going to get the affiliate offer and profit center guidance. I'm going to tell you what to run. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Everything, okay? Really, really, really cool. Next, um, you get an easy follow traffic plan and videos, right? We're going to show you how to make it work. We're going to set up your blog theme and a logo. We're going to give you 700 bucks worth of plugins loaded on your site, all the software ready to go. We're going to give you content, and I'm going to give you 90 days support and coaching so you just go in it and make it work, and you say, Marcus, this is what I want to do, right? Really, really cool, okay? Did they use the domain? Yes, they used the domain. It's actually extremely popular. Um, not extremely, but pretty popular. It was in a political niche, which was kind of funny. I just bought it as a joke for $15. Turned it around for 25 grand. That was pretty cool. Uh, and it was actually, it was like two days from expiring. Uh, I probably would have re-upped it, but you know, I don't know. Okay, so cool. Um, so that's what we got. Now, these are only 997 bucks. When you think about what you're getting, your domain's probably going to be worth close to that or more. Um, so you're also getting the niche. You're also getting the offer guidance. You're also getting everything. We set these things up for you. Now, these are what my most successful students have in the past gotten and used to do really well. There's actually a guy who made videos for us um, and he took pictures of his check and he's like, here I am, I got my high ticket niche and this month I made 700 bucks. And he came the next month and he's like, I made 4,000 bucks this month. And I think one of, one of the months he made like seven grand or something like that, uh, which was really cool. And he's like, that's cool. Now, I don't know what you're gonna make. These are just, you have to do the work with them, but we're giving you the platform to go from, which is the gold. So if you're out there and you're floundering and you're like, Marcus, I need a niche, I need your help, 
I need you to tell me what to do, we are going to do that. Like the gal who had the real estate, right? She would go in and say, look, I specialize in this type of foreclosure. We would go through and we'd find something. Or if you have an offer that you want to run, you say, Marcus, I want to do hosting. We'll find you one for that as well. Otherwise, you just give us some ideas and um, we'll find one or some topics you like. Or some people come and they're like, Marcus, just pick whatever you want. Pick whatever you want. And I'll pick a good one for you. Uh, because that's what I do for a living. So if that sounds like you and you're like, dude, Marcus, I want to do this. Um, obviously, because of the time it takes to set up, we only have a few of these available um, at any given time. But it is a great way to start the new year and make this work for you. Um, can you build your own with simple sites? You can, but you'd have to find your niche and everything. Now, this comes with the Simple Sites course. So if you get the high ticket niche, you're also going to get the Simple Sites course as well. I do that so that you can go through and learn how to get traffic and uh, watch the videos and stuff like that. But it's a really, really great way to go. Um, this is the best offer we have when people say, Marcus, what is hands down the best place to get started? I've been watching your videos. I like your stuff. It works. Hands down, no questions asked, high ticket niche is the best way to go. Okay, Wayne says, do you integrate our autoresponder with the site? Yes. And do you transfer the domain to us? Yes. You actually own everything. This is on your hosting. This is your domain. You own it. You make it work. Uh, Noza says, uh, the, he asked me to pick whatever I wanted, and we did. We picked actually a really good one for you. Um, but it's really good. Now, Terrell says, teach a man to fish, and he can eat for life. Yes, this is teaching you to fish. Because once you do this the right way, once you see how we do it, everything else is easy, right? So what we're doing is we're giving you the backbone to make it work, okay? Uh, Terrell, yeah, some of the simple sites is being updated right now, um, so we go from there, okay? Um, the Simple Sites 2018 is not out yet, and Flash Player, we do use Flash, um, but, you know, we adapt with whatever new players out there, so that's not an issue. But, again, highticketniches.com is where you want to go. So you're going to go here. Okay, and we'll also show you how to get $200 in paid traffic, which is cool. So by the time you get the simple sites and the traffic and the domain value and everything, you're like way above uh, the small investment for it. Okay, and again, remember these sites, I mean, that's results from just one site last year, right? Like if you could do that, that's like the biggest ROI ever. Again, results not typical, you know, you just got to look at that. And uh Everything's a risk, but hey, you know what? This is giving you the best shot you got. So when you get to highticketniches.com, here's what you're going to do. Okay, you say, Marcus, I am in it to win it. I want to get a high ticket niche. I want to make this work. It's going to reiterate the little bonuses you're getting over here. Okay, and then you're going to go through and you're going to put your name, last name, put your email here, billing address, city, state, zip. Okay, choose your country, your card. You can see it's totally secure. This is like a complete secure server. Um, card number in here, digits on the back. Go for your expiration year. Choose your payment plan. So if you're like, Marcus, oh man, I'd love to do this, but I can't pay in full. Just do it like this, right? You still get your site in the same time. You just make it work. Um, Nancy, yes, do it right now. Sign up right now. That way I remember you and we'll talk on live chat when we're done, okay? So there you go. Uh, how long does it take to get up and running? Right now we're running about two to three weeks max. Uh, sometimes it's quicker if you get us your logins and everything really quick. Um, the number one reason they get slowed down is because of logins. Um, so if you get those and you're all squared away, it'll help go faster or something like that. Uh, but really cool. All right, so again, remember what you're getting here. Again, if I, if I gave you nothing but the niche, this would be worth it, right? If all I did was say, Go to this keyword, run this offer, and do this. That would be worth it in flying colors, right? Flying colors, okay? Uh, Sherry, no, but you can use the pay plan, okay? Uh, really, will you coach us? Yes, actually, surprisingly, on all of our sites, we have live chat down here, right? You can actually just click here, and you can talk to us live, okay? Um, and you can see, I don't think I'm on there. Is mine on? No, mine's not on, so I think it's um, uh, Jacqueline's on right now. But uh, when you go here, like, people argue with me. They're like, oh, is this really Marcus? I don't think it's Marcus. I think it's a robot. And they do that all the time. I was talking to a guy last night who didn't know uh, it was actually me. Uh, Lynn, it'll be my staff will coach for some things. But if you need something, like yesterday, someone was like, man, I need help. Um, and she was like, okay, come on live chat at 3.30. Marcus will be there waiting for you. And we did that, and it works pretty cool. Um, Sherry, uh, 
figure out a way. I mean, you could do anything. It, like one of the, my favorite ways to run it is is to go um, and get a prepaid reloadable debit card at like Walgreens or something, um, and use that for your ads. Like if you're worried about paying too much for paid traffic, use a prepaid debit card. You never get charged more than on the card, and then you have something separate from your regular accounts too. Okay. Um, yeah, Tyler, get the simple sites if you can. Um, if you cannot get the high ticket niche, just go to simplesitesbonus.com. And yes, I realize I need to change the 2016s and 17s. I've been busy making the course, so I haven't had time to change that. Uh, but you can go here and fill that out as well. That's simplesitesbonus.com. Okay. But for high ticket niches, go highticketniches.com. That's the best way to go. And I'll go ahead and turn on our live chat here. That way at the end, if you have any questions or anything, um, you can let me know and we'll help you out with that. Okay, do you need staff members help to expedite this? Yes, we actually have a team. Um, it's a team of people here in Florida and I have one person in California, but she lived in Florida, that's how we met. She just recently moved there. She did the opposite of what I did. Uh, she went from Cal Florida to California. I went from California to Florida, uh, but they help us out. So they're all trained by me personally and everything like that. What are the average results for the new niche site you create? Um, sadly, a lot of people don't do much with them, but if you do, it works really well. Okay, Yellow says, I'm curious, you took down the Bible website you made for the toolbar. Why? Uh, I sold it to one of my students. Um, I sold that niche to them. And I think they went on and got a different domain or something like that. Uh, Sherry, ask that on live chat, please. Do you have a separate link for the broken links to upload to WordPress? I don't know what that means, but... Uh, uh, how do you find people in your area who do affiliate marketing? I don't know. I don't usually find people. Like I, I found that one person from a Facebook group and it's the first time I've ever done that. All right. So highticketniches.com is where you want to sign up. Uh, my guarantee to you is that if you work the niche, if you do all the stuff, follow through, get the traffic and work your niche. And for some reason you don't feel like it'll work, uh, we will replace your niche within the year. Okay. So if for some reason you're like, Mark, this niche just isn't working. Um, as a favor to you and you know, we go through and make sure I don't, I don't want to just give away free niches So we make sure hey, what did you do? How did you try it? Okay? Yes um, We'll do this. Okay So awesome stuff there. It's really a no-brainer if you want to make this work and you're ready to go uh, You also get 90 days coaching and pay-per-click coupons uh, How much will I need to pay for pay-per-click campaign starting out nothing use your coupons, right? Uh, so really cool and pay-per-click, you know, I tell people budget like 200 bucks or something just just in case we usually don't need it But uh, we try to do that So your students who actually make money, what's a typical range that they make per month anywhere? We got people who make five bucks a month. We got people who are like retired with their feet clicked up doing great Okay Whitetail says I'm working on a grocery gift card site right now. Cool. I used to have a site in that in that niche um, worked pretty decent. All right, so any questions on this offer, let me know. Again, it is highticketniches.com. I'm going to log in and see if we got any spots left. Looks like we do have some spots left, so you definitely want to get in now. Um, and again, if you do want to upgrade to something later, or like right now, if you can only get the simple sites, later on you want to upgrade to this, just tell us. We'll give you a credit as long as it's like within a reasonable time frame. And uh, we'll help you with that as well. All right, so let's see what else we got. Okay. My brain is on overload. And then Nancy, I'm watching for years to come through so I can get you that info about um, upgrading as well. Okay. Janice says, limited t funds, what other tools do we need? Um, if you budget $200 above, you're fine, right? So if you could do that, you're fine, okay? Uh, the Facebook name, if you want to find us on Facebook, go to joinmarcus.com. That's join, M-A-R-C-U-S, dot com. Okay. Seems simple. Yeah, the sites are really simple. Okay, autoresponder. You could try out an autoresponder for like a dollar. I think they have a free trial or something. What should I plan to invest in advertising for high ticket niche? Well, you plan to invest, like I said, like we literally test five bucks, see what happens. Um, so it works really cool. Alana says, where do you get those funny little images? Clip art sites. Um, I have membership, so that 
you know, we can use them. Marcus, how do you determine if you're going to do CPA instant or higher niche like ClickBank? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that ClickBank's a higher niche. Um, I usually like to use CPA. Does your, does your method involve a lot of content writing? No, not at all. Okay. Bad Dog says, I'm working on private jet charters and site, site and dog, Amazon dog toy. Okay, cool. Um, jet charters, by the way, would be an awesome one for me to find you a backdoor to. Actually, both of those would. But jet charters, I could find a good backdoor in the high-ticket niche program. Okay. Um, I did not see Tyler's PDF question. So if you could type that back in, that would be great. All right. looks like we got a ton of people right now on highticketniches.com. Um, so definitely get your order in now so we can get you squared away. Um, and so that way you don't miss out on this time around. And let's see what we got here. And again, that's highticketniches.com. Highticketniches.com. You go there, you fill this out. I give you a niche. We give you the domain. I tell you what offers to run. We set up your site. We set up your content. We build you a custom theme. We tell you how to get traffic. We tell you how to do everything. And we support and coach you. And check it out. The domains, like, I, I don't know. Let me see if I have the domain list thing in here. I don't know if it was in my other OBS studio. It might have been. Oh, wait, no. Is it in this one? Mm. Let's see. Let me see if that works. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So the domains, ah, not that one. And bear with me one second. Okay, so here is in the bottom of the screen the estimated value of the domains that we had last time in the Simple Sites course, right? So this is like I just took the list of ones we do, and you can see the value of the domains right there from one of the biggest um, domain value places. So like you're like, okay, Marcus, am I actually getting something that's worth it? There you go. That's just the, that one right there, 1169 bucks just for the domain, right? That's like more than you paid just for the domain. And we're also building your site. We're also finding your niche. We're also, I mean, that's, it's crazy. Um, so really cool. Okay. Lots of questions here. Uh, do you need a business license for each domain? Um, I think one will do for the whole deal. You just register as one business. Uh, but again, I'm not a lawyer, so you might want to check your local area, your lawyer. Um, don't listen to me for law stuff because I'm crazy enough as it is. Okay, Marcus, thanks for the great info. You're welcome, Dino. Going to go for Simple Sites. Good, Dino. Looking forward to having you in there. Go ahead and sign up now. Um, I'll hook you up with some bonuses for signing up on this call, and we'll go for there. Uh, HTML, do you have a niche for herbs? Yes, actually, we do. I have uh, several of them, so really cool. Okay, do you find these high-ticket niches using the same trigger words from Simple Sites, or do you do it with some others? Um, I have a different process, which is very difficult to teach because... It's kind of the, one of those things like you know how to do it, but it's really difficult. I'm working on trying to teach it, um, and when I do, maybe we will. But for right now, it is my proprietary way of doing it, which yields in these domains. I mean, look at that. That's like like literally I'm turning $15 into these domains like that, and they're valued, which is crazy. I mean, you think about that. It's like what could be better than that? And you're going to get one, which is really cool. Okay, um, I was asking, how would you promote PDF editors offers given there are free tools available? That is one of my niches I found proprietary. There's actually tons of keywords I have. Um, and I actually did promote that a while back. In last webinar, I talked about that. So you might want to check out last webinar. Or if you really want to do that niche, get a high ticket niche and tell me. Say, do the PDF one and I'll give you a kill, uh, killer one. Okay, uh, where did we go? Would love to see your new hardware and view the monitor. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that towards the end. Um, I'm actually, I'm running my live streams from this camera now, uh, right there, which is like a actual thing, but you know, you actually have to like have a memory card and stuff like that. Um, and then we have the beast computer under here, which is pretty cool. It's like one of them fancy Ryzen processors. Uh, which is cool. It does video editing. Like I could do two 4K streams like psh, lightning fast. Okay. Um, Whitetail says, I have simple sites. Think I'd like the upgrade. All right. Go ahead and hop on live chat. I'm going to open live chat. 
Um, I might not be attentive because I'm talking on this, but uh, Whitetail, go ahead and go here. Go to highticketniches.com. Click this live chat and tell me you want to upgrade. I'll give you the link. Um, if anyone wants to upgrade from Simple Sites to a high ticket niche, get me on there. We'll help you out with that. Okay, Dimitri says, I have a high ticket niche course a month ago. I'm a slow learner and love your course. Glad you love it. Where do I submit three ideas? Okay, excellent question. After you get your high ticket niche, go to our support site. If anyone ever complains that they don't get support, it's because they're not using this site. I get people who email me. They find the weirdest emails that I got like 20 years ago. And they email me and they're like, I want support. And I'm like, I don't check this email anymore. So go to PCMoneyMaking.com. Click on Submit a Ticket. Okay. Click on High Ticket Niches. Put your... Oh, what am I? I'm not even showing you guys this. I have no brain. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I have no brain. Okay. Open a new tab. Come on, Marcus. Get with the program. Go to PCMoneyMaking.com. You're going to go to Submit a Ticket. You're going to go to High Ticket Niches. You're going to go first name, last name, email, submit. Yep, let's see. I'll do an email that doesn't exist. Okay, it's going to go like that. And then you just put your stuff here. So it'll have um, right here your niche ideas. This is where your three ideas go. Then you put your domain. Okay, if you need help getting this stuff, it's the instructions right here. Bluehost password, name cheap. This is where we transfer your domain. Boom, it's instant. You just click a button and you're like, I now own the domain and I can go sell it. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's worth money, which is cool. Uh, then you put your message here, everything like that. So that's where you would put that in. Okay. But for right now, get in there, make that work. Okay. looks like white tails on. Let's see if I could do some multitasking here. If I do, like, do I get a prize or something for multitasking? I hope I do. Uh, that would be good. All right. So highticketniches.com. Um, any questions about the high ticket niche program because it is by far one of our best programs if not the best um so i want to make sure that you guys know what you're getting because it's killer okay i'm going to try to multitask here and let's see what our questions are coming in okay uh sherry yes you can contact us on the live chat and we can help you with that do i teach private blog networks no um Mine's kind of like a different version. Okay. Rick, not sure what question that was. Uh, Sherry says, I want this bad. You should, Sherry. It's, it's a really, really, really good thing. Can you purchase extra niche sites? Yes, you can. Um, if you want to hop on live chat and you're like, dude, I want to buy five niches, we'll make you a deal on them. Um, you know, something fair that'll work. Okay. Simple Sites course I received was 2000. Yes. Get us on PC Money Making, ask for the 17 course, and she'll put it in your members area. Okay, Sherry says, I'm actually behind a day in class working almost 24 hours straight to get my website going. All right, well, try uh, working smarter. Um, not that you're not working smarter, but try delegating better because I think you can probably save a lot of time with that. Janice says, you're awesome, Marcus. I want to build one of those offices in my backyard, and the pool is a great way to take a break. Yes, it is. Uh, it is fun. Yes, it is a beast computer that I got here. Um, while wow, I'm building my first Ryzen system now. I thought about building my own. I used to do that years ago, um, but I'm actually like afraid to open it and put RAM in if that's pathetic or not. Okay. Um, bad dog can't type or spell today. Okay. Okay, let me get these links to these upgrader guys real quick. Um, that way they can get squared away and then we'll take some more questions. Okay, if you are an upgrader and you're on live chat, there is your link. There is your link. Cool. Okay, so if you need the upgrade link, there you go. All right, so um, let's see. Where'd our questions go? We'll take questions. We'll hang out for a little bit if you guys want um, and go from there. Okay, that's okay. What exactly is a bad dog anniversary? Training dogs are a joke. Okay, I think that's talking about his name. If trying to go for free traffic other than getting YouTube traffic, how does the traffic know to come to our site? It doesn't. We make it come to our site. Okay, um, trying to go for two, yeah, that one there. Five niches at once might be too much. It, yeah, well, if you do them all in the same kind of genre, it wouldn't be. Okay, BST says, regarding high ticket niches, hi, Marcus, after you choose the name, the niche domain, then send the project to the team for design and content, do you check the status of the project? Yes, 
Um, we check it when done because I'm the one who actually tells you um, at the end, hey, go run these things. Uh, Rick, um, no, we actually hired someone already to do that, but thanks for the offer. I'll keep your name uh, in case that changes. And I do like people here local. I'm very big on people local. Janice says, as long as it works, who cares? Exactly. Okay, do you use WordPress? Yes, I do. And we have custom plugins that we use on WordPress. Okay, uh, Bad Dog says, I'd like to throw some poop. He said it in a different way. I uh, on the wall and see what sticks and run it. Well, I wouldn't recommend throwing poop at the wall because, I mean, that just ends up in a messy wall. Instead, why don't you look at the high ticket niches and find niches the way we do and do it the right way, right? Because I don't throw things against the wall. I know what's going to work. Okay, I might take a little tweaking, but it works. Okay, Alana says she doesn't find WordPress very user-friendly. That's because you're not using the software that we've developed for it. Okay, how is this different from Profit 2018? Um, Profit 2018 is a long-term course, and it actually comes with two niches. Um, so if you're interested in that, get me on live chat, and if I have a spot, I, I can let you in that. Okay, Bad Dog says, what happens or what do you do with a site that fails? Uh, it's pretty rare that a site fails. Um, usually it's because an offer leaves or something. Um, I would just let it fall by the wayside and maybe come back to it later. Um, but for you guys, if you get a high ticket niche, you're kind of guaranteed against that because if something happens, we do uh, replace it one time with another niche. Okay, Janice says, after I signed up, it's asking if I want to add something. What is that? Um, I thought it comes with everything. It's a template that adds on the end of all of our order forms. Um, it just doubles your content and stuff. If you want to do it, you can, but you don't need it. Okay, I can program WordPress, PHP, and WordPress is easy for starters. Yes, it is. WordPress is so easy if you do it the right way. Custom built blog, how much is that? $9.97. This is a custom built blog. Okay, Sherry, and if you look at the comparison, like people are charging like 900 bucks just for the blog design. So you guys are getting a killer, killer deal. Okay, I've been working with Wealthy Affiliate and they are less, but I like you better. Yeah, a lot of people like me better. Um, some of their stuff's, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never gone through their stuff, but I've heard mixed things. Um, Okay, once you go, BK says, once you go live with your ad, is there any maintenance you need to attend to? A little bit, yeah. Like, you know, uh, 15 minutes a day, maybe an hour a day if it's a big niche. Okay, what is 2018 going to cost? For the Profit 2018 course, it is $29.97. Okay, and if you need the link, just hop on live chat. We'll get that for you. Okay, Whitetail says, when you pick an offer, an offer vault, do you have to join the network? Correct. Yes, offer vault is just a search engine, so you would need to join the network. Okay, regarding, BK says, regarding a one-page ad, do you need to do daily maintenance to keep it going? No, some, like my most profitable sites, I was so young and I made money so fast, I felt like I wasn't working and I was actually like, I kind of like got a little depressed because I was, not depressed, but I was kind of like, what the hell should I do? I don't have to work. I didn't have to do anything. I just got obsessed with checking my numbers, um, which I have recovered from that as well as alcoholism. Uh, almost four years sober, a couple more months to go. How long does it realistically take to get a site to 200 a day profit? It could be instant. It could take a while. Um, you know, you just have to look at it. Like, how long does it take to get two people a day to sign up for hosting? There you go. Okay. Um, Chuck says, okay, that's about a different program. I don't usually like to talk about other programs. Um, so yeah, because sometimes I don't know about them. If you were to make a site for the Bible niche again, would that be a high ticket niche or low ticket? High ticket because I know the profitability of it. Okay. Thank you, Alana and Travis for saying thanks. Uh, congrats on the sobriety. Okay. 2018 course. How soon can you start making money? You can start making money right away with courses. One guy didn't believe me and he came to me on live chat and he was like, dude, one video you said, do one thing, and I did it. And within like 20 minutes, I made 60 bucks. So, I mean, you can do it. Like people are online right now doing stuff right now. So, I mean, you just have to go get in front of them. That's all there is to it. All right. Okay, we'll take some more questions. Maybe we'll hang out a little bit and have some fun. Um, I usually plan these for two hours. So maybe we'll have a Q&A section here and hang out. But a lot of you guys are hanging out quite some time, which is pretty cool. I like that.
Okay, do you charge for one-on-one -on -one consultation? If I already have a site set up and need some guidance getting it profitable, would you be able to do something like that? Yes, Steve, we do do that. Um, get us on live chat or in the support tickets. Uh, live chat, I'll be here on live chat for a little bit, so if you do need help with that, um, I can help you do that. Okay, and we have lots of other services. Uh, we're trying to update them, so if you want something custom, you would just go to affiliate marketing dude dude.com and then you can just hit I think products and then we have some of these which are our main ones um, and then we have down here some things that we offer if you're looking for it okay um, let's see here does affiliate networks pay 15 days into the month example February 15 depends on the network some are net 15 some are net 30 um, so you know you just have to look at that way uh, we will do the give, uh, giveaway as well. Janice, I'm glad you're a recovered um, addict as well. That's, that's awesome. Uh, thank you for all your support. I'll be buying the 2018 course. Awesome, Sherry. Looking forward to having you in that. You are going to love it. Uh, we just did the first video uh, yesterday, which is why I got all this fancy camera stuff, um, so that we can do that. Janice, good to have you in there. Get in the high-ticket niche, and we'll make it happen. Um, Helen says, if you've never done anything online and not a techie, is it really that simple? I think so. Um, I mean, with the high ticket niche, you really can't go wrong because we're setting up a lot of the, the techie stuff for you. Um, so, you know, you just have to do it. Do you have some habits to maintain your recovery from addiction? Well, if you want to learn about addiction, um, go to, uh, what would it be? It's my other channel, youtube.com slash talk sober. You can go youtube.com slash talk sober and you can learn all about how I stay sober. There I am there, all right, so pretty cool. Uh, this is also a niche that I'm in, which has uh, been pretty fun, so cool stuff. M, a slight typo, mentor says menor on the page you had up. Maybe, I, maybe I'm a menor. <laughs> yeah, we probably check it. Um, Noza says the $200 ad bonus is only for residents of the United States. Yes, that's correct. Um, it might be Canada and UK, but I know in some other countries it's not. Okay, if you're doing all the work for us, how are we going to learn to do it on your own? Oh, you will. One, you get the Simple Sites course, and two, you're going to see how I do it. Um, it's kind of like a template. Like, um, for me, the best way to learn is to, like, take something apart. Like, I was one of those kids who's like, damn it, you took the VCR apart. And I'm like, well, i got to figure out how it works. He's like, did you figure it out? And I'm like, no, and I can't put it back together either. But I did learn about the stuff that's in there. Um, Helen says, if I buy high ticket niches and want to upgrade later to profit 2018, will you deduct the price for high ticket niche? Yes, I will. Um, do it now though, so I can make a, knit, uh, a note on your high ticket niche order. Okay, just, how's it going? Just tuned in while in science class. Well, hopefully I'm, I guess I'm more entertaining than the professor there, but you can probably learn more about science there. Uh, but good to have you here, Reese. All right, Douglas just got a high ticket niche. All right, Douglas, good to have you on board. I'm not sure how many we have left, but if you do want to get in there, get in right away um, because they are going pretty fast. All right, cool deal. All right, so any questions, anything goes. If you have questions about uh, marketing and stuff like that, uh, we can help you. Also, uh, if you do want to join our, which you do want to join it, trust me, go to joinmarcus.com and you can join our Facebook group. Okay, so it'll, it'll allow you to join it. you got to be logged in, of course, but that's how it works. D-Train says he's addicted to my videos. Okay, good. Well, you know, we don't have a support group for that just yet, but maybe in the future. Uh, do you allow people to affiliate you? Yes, I allow people to be affiliates, but it's only on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, am I on live chat right now? Yes, I am. If you want to go on live chat, uh, you could just go, if you're on the High Ticket Niche site, just click this button down here, and you're good to go. Um, let's see. Can you give us a glimpse of what and how the membership area looks like? You know, on this new beastly computer, I don't think I have the download, but I do have the login. Okay, so the login area for Simple Sites Big Profits looks like this. And we just log in like this. If we have the right things. Choom, there we go. Okay, so login looks like this. You would go to, if you're in Profit 2018, you go here. If you're in 2017, you go here. And the 2017 course looks like this. There is a download that makes it like actually its own little software, um, which it's not really that different. It's just cool. I mean, that's really the only 
uh, benefit. But the Simple Sites course is laid out in a really, really cool way to take you through everything, right? This, like, I took so much time making this so you could just go through it. So you start with getting started, you watch your video. Uh, niche finding, there's that big trigger word list I told you about right here, right? It's got a huge list. Uh, you have the power search tool, which does like half the work for you. So if you're in a niche, say like um, hidden tax deductions, right? You could go through, hit research, and boom, it's gonna go through. You could see if there's domain names available, right? Boom, there you go. You could see the Google Trends, right, like that. You could go through, you could see uh, pay-per-click competition, see how much it's gonna cost, uh, how many ads are there. Okay, so Simple Sites course is awesome. Uh, you could go through, you could do Google competition. This gives you the actual isolated competition. Okay, you could go through, uh, you could check affiliate programs. You can check um, Offer Vault. Okay, so it basically does everything for you, which is really cool. And that's just one aspect. There's also like others. Um, then you have your trigger word training, everything like that. Uh, you have keyword training, market flipper training, getting a niche, everything. Okay, then you have traffic plan. It's gonna teach you all about the different traffic methods, how to use them, how to get traffic, everything like that. And I worked really hard to make cool little money thingies there, uh, which is really cool. And this, this uh, when you get high ticket niches, this comes with it as well. Okay, so there's that. Um, then you could go to the next section, which is setting up shop, shows you how to build your site, really easy way. Uh, next section. And a lot of it we're updating right now. Really cool. Um, we have content creation, 300 click test, results and refining, connect with Marcus if you need help. Um, you also have the money getting tools, which has a ton of tools here. I mean, they're so cool. There's like, like you say, Marcus, I'm so stuck on the tech stuff. I want to make a little search box like you did. You go here and you're like, boom, I want to make a search box. You put your URL in here. So like if you were going to do this actually, by the way, how I made this tool. Um, so if I wanted to make people search Offer Vault, I'd be like, boom, right like that. It'll generate the code. You copy the code, you're done, right? Same kind of thing for drop down boxes, same kind of thing. If you want to put an opt in box, boom, you put your info in there. There's your code. Really cool. Okay. Janice says she got the high ticket niche. Awesome. Good to have you on board. Um, yes, we're going to give you a good one. We're going to help you with it. Uh, go to PC money making, put that in bad dog, got a high ticket niche. Good to have you in there. Um, glad you're following and liking it. And I dig your YouTube channel name. Is it like, do you actually have a channel about that? Okay. And to everyone who is a recovering addict of some sort, congrats. That's awesome. Okay. Yes, I am on live chat on PC money making right now. Um, are affiliate websites better than affiliate campaigns because of how long websites last compared to campaigns? Well, it's kind of like, are wheels better than a bicycle? Well, the campaign is the bicycle. The site is the wheel. Okay, so it's not like one's better or whatever. Okay. Um, okay. Jana says she loves the tools. Awesome. Uh, that's what I wanted to see. It has steps. Great. Yes, it's so like ready to go. Uh, right now, there are some links like um, whenever you saw that little icon, this one, it means a video is being updated. Um, but, you know, we're working on it. We're making it a lot uh, better. 2018 is going to be insane. Um, I'm working my tail off to, to get a lot of stuff. And you guys, by getting this now, you'll also get 2018. All right, so awesome stuff. Any other questions as you guys are getting signed up at highticketniches.com or simplesitesbonus.com, uh, whichever one you want to go for, and we'll get you all taken care of. All right, where did our questions go? Uh, recovering from cancer, yeah, that totally counts. That's a good recovery to have, man. I, I like having that one. Um, okay. Okay, cool stuff. Any other questions? Will you create a course on how to create a course? There actually is a little part of it in the Simple Sites course, um, but that's something I probably will get into more. Uh, Chuck, it depends on um, how long ago you got. Uh, Avelina, it depends on how long ago you got it. Um, do you still run affiliate sites or do you mainly focus on your course? I do both. Um, like you guys saw in the example here, 
for it to go somewhere. There it is. Okay. Uh, in the example here, right, these are affiliate sites we're running. This is like up-to-date info. That's just last year. Um, Evelina, get us on live chat. We'll help you with that. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. Any questions that require the Blackboard? I want to try that out more and see if we can get that dialed in. Marcus, I want to bring to your attention, you have a lot of other websites with down links. Uh, well, let us know those websites on PCMoneyMaking.com. I have a lot of sites. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. Uh, so it just depends. All right, Janice. Awesome. Glad you are ready to go. Okay, don't tell us what it is, but did you find any great niche sites you keep for yourself? Uh, sometimes, and sometimes I do sell them. Like, I have three right now that um, I... I know I'm not going to do anything with just because I don't have time and they're ones I was going to keep. So if you do want one of those, sign up now and tell me and it's really cool. Um, Alana, get me on live chat and I'll check out your account and make that get you a, a specific one there. Uh, Chuck, that's probably too long ago. All right, Haroon says, joining the simple sites. Awesome. Looking forward to having you in there. Um, make sure, since you said you want to work on your conversion, make sure you go on PCMoneyMaking.com. Tell me your site and what you're doing so I can help you with that. All right, the worst thing to do is like just get the course and expect me to know that you need help by osmosis, which doesn't work, right? Um, so you want to do that and, and you want to go in there and say, hey, this is what I need help with and we'll try to help you. All right, so questions, bring them on. Is terrariums a good niche? I, I don't know what a ter terrarium. I don't know much about that. Okay, blackboard, stop the cycling lights and increase. Okay, let's try that out. Let's see if that works. And we'll just kind of try it out while you guys are doing that. Okay, so tell me if this works better. We'll try to do these lights on just a steady color. If we can get this one to go, which folks do. Let's see. Yep, I think the other remote works for that one. Okay, so you guys tell me what color looks best for that. And I don't know why this one doesn't want to change. Up oh, there, it changes to that. Well, I think it thinks, there we go. It thinks that green is blue, apparently. Um, so there we go. Okay, so let's see, does this look better? Okay. For example, the Bible site you sold that was on high profit niches or, uh, okay, I'm going to move this over here. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, for example, the Bible site you sold on high profit niches or did you just find that person? Uh, yes, that was a high ticket niche customer. Okay, uh, Chuck, put a ticket in at PCMoneyMaking.com. We'll help you with that. Uh, Bad Dog, agreed, steady color. So do you guys like the blue? Does that work good? Or brighter? Okay, we'll try, uh, let's try yellow. That's not yellow. This thing's all messed up. That's yellow. Okay, does that work? Keep trying. Maybe we'll go white or something. And then I also have an overhead light, if that helps, which one of these remotes works for. Okay, does that help? All right, Paul says he's uh, launching his high-ticket niche site that he got in December. Awesome. Okay, blue's better. Okay. Okay, you think white will be better? We can try that. Okay, I meant, did you find the Bible site buyer some other monetization other than toolbar? We, one of the Bible sites I sold on Flippa just to see how it would work. Um, okay, BK says, watch many of your videos on hub pages, but still can't quite grasp what our initial main hub page should look like. We signed up with Simple Sites and Bluehost. Um, it should be pretty 
simple to do. Uh, Nancy, after signing up, um, get me on live chat, and I might not answer you right away because I'm on here. Um, but uh, yeah, after you sign up, just get me on live chat, and I'll help uh, get you squared away. Okay, so you guys like white better or blue? We'll try white first, and then we'll try blue. Okay, so there's white. Ah, yay, coffee. All right. Okay, and type in blue or or uh, something like that. The overhead makes the board easier to see. Okay, cool. Now, what color for overhead? Because I was playing with blue because it kind of gives it a fluorescent with the overhead. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll play around with it and make it work. And you guys can tell me what you like better. If you like blue better on the background, type that. A lot of people are saying the white looks better. Probably makes the camera focus a little better. And then maybe I could get, I don't know if we can get a tighter shot or not. Black light with white markers good, but it trips up the camera. That's why we don't use that. Yes, this is a 4K camera, but we're, we're broadcasting in HD. White looks purple. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, so again, that's highticketniches.com to get signed up. My writing is too small. Okay, I could start to write bigger, or let's see if we can get a tighter shot. Let's see here. Maybe that'll work. Does that tighter shot work better? Tacos and burritos a good niche. Well, maybe recipes. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. So, okay. So did the tighter one? Yeah, I, I missed the sound of the chalk on the board too, but we had a lot of people who did not like that. Uh, so, you know, we tried. Okay, so any questions, let me know. Again, that's highticketniches.com. It looks like we got about three left right now. Um, do you plan on having any mid or advanced classes? Yes, we have one right now at profit2018.com. Okay, Shelly says, I saw a video with you using the autofollow camera, and it was awful. It moves too much. Yes, we are trying with one of the autofollow. I don't think I'm going to do it in here. We might do it out, outside, though. Okay, tighter shots better. Okay, good. Yeah, it does look better. I'm seeing it now. It's delayed on my screen. Um, the letters on the right side are hard to see, but the rest are good. Okay, well, we're right over here. Then. Well, there's only it's only on the right side. Um, I heard recipes are not a good niche. Depends on the offer. I've made a lot with recipes. Um, angle the camera down a bit. Okay, we could try that. Ah, there we go. That might work. I need to put that on a different tripod. It's still on the auto follow thing. All right. All right, so hopefully you guys are digging this. Any questions about anything, let me know, and we'll stick around a little bit. All right. All right, looks like Janice, Helen, Douglas, Michelle, Wayne, Bradley, Edward, Jonathan, Terrell, Richard. We got a lot of people signing up, so make sure you get in right now. Um, I don't use soft boxes in here for a reason. Um, we have small space, but I'm going to hang some lights up. Uh, but right now, the lighting is really dialed in pretty good right now, I think. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Okay. May try turning off the bulb lights. Uh, I like the bulb lights. We could try it. Let's see how it works. Tell me if you like it better with that. I like the bulbs, though. It's, it's like my look. Can't be messing with that. All right, highticketniches.com. Get signed up now. Uh, if you want a spot, do it right now, and we'll go from there. You look like Christmas with the lights. Uh, yeah, kind of. And I think the bulb lights actually help um, the camera focus. So we'll see how it works, though. So you guys like it without the bulb? Let me see if I'm refreshed. 
Okay, and again, highticketniches.com. Get yourself signed up. That way, okay, turn the bulbs back on. Okay. Okay, we'll turn the bulbs back on. My fancy switch is just plugging them in. There we go. See, yeah, you spared no expense on that there. All right, I like the bulbs. Uh, we could try without these lights. I've tried that before. If you guys like that. Okay, yeah, so bulbs on. I think the bulbs got the view, the, uh, the win there. All right, so highticketniches.com. Get yourself signed up now, and we will get you squared away. Um, I'm going to get with you guys right now to get you going. We could try some different light things. Uh, make a niche about fancy switches. Uh, well, actually, you know, funny story. Uh, back when I was a magician in high school, I couldn't afford lights because they were so much more expensive than they are now. Stage lights were a lot of money. Um, and I made some. Like, I literally got the little bulb things. I got old coffee cans, and I made a whole set of lights out of coffee cans. And because I was the genius I was, uh, we did an escape routine where I was in water. And when they put me in the water, the water overflowed onto the lights, and it kept shorting them out, which was kind of funny. Okay, highticketniches.com is the URL uh, to get in there. All right. If I'm not in the picture, then the board looks better. Yeah, but then who's going to write on the board? Right. Well, maybe I'll step away every every few minutes and, and so you guys can see it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so when I go closer to the board, it does get better. And I probably just need to get in the habit of writing bigger. All right, like that. There you go. Have fancy drawings. You didn't even know that. Okay, so the light purple lights is what worked good. Okay, we'll try that again. This one kind of is funny sometimes. There we go. Light purple. This, yeah, see, I'm pushing purple and it goes green. How about red? Red could be kind of cool. Okay. Can you explain high ticket niches? Yes, the high ticket niches, we'll go to the board. Let's explain the high ticket niches. With the high ticket niches, you will be very, very happy. See, that's why we have the happy guy. What we do with the high ticket niche is I go through and I find your niche, okay? This is the crux of how everything works. If I find you the right niche, that's where the money's at, right? All the sites I've made, all the money I've made comes from finding the right niche. So me finding your niche, Good, right? Happy, excellent. Okay, so I find your niche. Next, I buy you domain. Okay, I get you a good domain name. All right, now sometimes you can see it on the screen, I think. Uh, let me see if we can put it on the screen again. Um, so if we put it on the screen here, and I don't know if I could do this multitasking here business, but maybe I can. Okay, image, no, media source, video, DVD, media source, there we go. All right, let's see if we can do that. All right, I don't know if that wants to work. That ah, doesn't want to work. Okay, at any rate, the domains are worth a lot. On the other screen we showed them, they're worth like $800 to $2,000 each. All right, so we buy the domain name for you. It's a good domain, excellent domain. Next, we're going to go through, and we are going to find traffic method. Okay, so we're going to be like, hey, man, the best way to get traffic, or hey, lady, best thing to get, that sounded kind of weird, uh, best way to get traffic um, is to, uh, you know, go SEO or go YouTube or whatever. Then we're going to go through, and we're going to set up, your site, we're gonna go through, we are going to get your plugins on your site. We're gonna find you the best offers, okay, how to make money, best offers. Okay, best offers, then we're gonna go through and we are gonna set up content, set content and everything. So we're gonna get you off to the races. And if you were to buy all this stuff separate, it would be a small fortune and it helps a lot that the domain you're getting is actually 
worth a lot of value. So cool stuff. And you can get that at highticketniches.com. And maybe I'll get in the camera here. There we go. Right? So there we go. Let me see if we have any other questions here. And if you are on live chat, just sit tight. I'll be with you in a second. And let me see, where did my YouTube thing go? There we go. Okay, so the questions here. What about the yarn niche? I don't know, maybe the knitting niche, but not the yarn one. Okay. Um, when you said put it on the screen, the board view got great. Okay. Uh, yes, lights do help. Good. What is the fourth? I don't know what the fourth is. You always choose the best pictures for your message. Is it a paid site you're using? I use clip art. Okay, any example websites? Yeah, we had some examples at the beginning of the call. Um, so you definitely want to get those. All right, so I think we're nearing the end of our live training. Um, if you are going to get a high ticket niche, which you absolutely should, because um, you're going to be happy because you're going to get all this stuff and we're going to give you the niche to start with, uh, go to highticketniches.com, uh, get yourself signed up. Hit us on live chat and we will help you get squared away and everything like that. Um, so yeah, cool. All right, again, that's highticketniches.com. Uh, you can use the payment plan if you need to or pay in full, you save some money. Um, also, you can get Simple Sites Big Profits at simplesitesbonus.com. Uh, we showed you that as well. Uh, yes, fourth is set up site, but she asked for an ABC. So that's what we did, the ABC. All right, cool deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you today. I hope you learned a lot about niche marketing, learned a lot about sites, learned a lot about how to make this work. And I look forward to seeing you in the High Ticket Niches course. Again, you can go to highticketniches.com right now, fill that form out, sign up. When you're done, go to pcmoneymaking.com and put in your request and we'll build that niche for you and help you out and get you started the right way. Because I know that the number one thing that holds people back is getting started. And they don't get started because they don't know that something's going to work or they don't know it has a good shot at working. And so we got to help you with that. And that's what this service does is it helps you by giving you the niche, showing you the offers, getting you started on the right foot and making it work. And all you got to do is get in there and say, Marcus, I'll give it a shot. Uh, give it a shot. Tell me how you do and we'll help you make it even better. Again, that's highticketniches.com. Go sign up now. Uh, if you need anything, get us on live chat and I'll see you in the next call. Thanks again. And hopefully I'll be able to find the pause button.